there welcome to my channel mo moon tarot my name is mo this is going to be your october zodiac sign reading for your sun sign you can check your moon sign and your rising sign as well um, i'm going to be using the halloween tarot and i'm also going to be drawing an oracle card from the oracle of shadow and light so i hope this reading resonates with you keep in mind this is a general reading you can also watch it for entertainment purposes only, but hopefully it will resonate with you. So um, here we go. Hello Capricorn, welcome to your October 2021 Tarot and Oracle card reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising. I'm gonna be using a spread by a woman whose name is Lindsay Mack. The first card represents what is happening right now. The second card represents how can I move through it with ease and grace. The third card represents what am I learning from the cycle of my life. The fourth card represents what is currently leaving. The fifth card represents what is on its way in. And the sixth card represents what's my medicine for the moment. So at the end of the tarot reading of course i'm going to draw an oracle card so at the end of the tarot reading we'll read about what the oracle card means for you for the month of october capricorn so let's get your cards for the month of october starting with what is happening right now for capricorn in the month of october spirit so let's remember that this is a channeled message from spirit what is happening right now for capricorn what is happening right now for capricorn How can Capricorn move through it with ease and grace? How can Capricorn move through it with ease and grace? What is Capricorn learning from this cycle of their life in October? What is Capricorn learning from this cycle of their life? Oh, we got the five of pumpkins. What is currently leaving Capricorn's life? What is currently leaving Capricorn's life in the month of October? What is on its way in for Capricorn? What is on its way in for Capricorn? And what is Capricorn's medicine for the moment? Let's get an Oracle card for you. An Oracle card for Capricorn. message for Capricorn. So two of your cards came out face down Capricorn. Well, face up, I should say. The Five of Pumpkins and the Ace of Imps. So they're going to hold special messages for us. So let's see what the Oracle card is for you for October Capricorn. The card is 33, Dress of Alchemy. Release your power. That's a really powerful message. Release your power. Very cool. So let's see, Capricorn, what your tarot cards say for you for October. What is happening right now in October for Capricorn? We have the Ten of Bats. So you have your work cut out for you this month of October, Capricorn. You have a heavy load that you're carrying, maybe a lot of responsibility on your back, and it's up to you to learn how to take time to rest, to put down that burden, and to take time to meditate, ground, maybe ask for a little bit of help so you can have a, a, a break or some time off. How can you move through this with grace and ease in the month of October, Capricorn? Wow, you have the three of bats. So learning how to listen to your heart is a very important way that you will move through this month. Learning how to listen to 
what is hurting your heart? What is causing you pain? What is causing you grief? Um, what is stealing your joy? Learn how to listen to your heart. Learn how to listen to your emotions. Learn how to listen to the voices that are speaking to you. You know, what are you telling yourself? What are your what if your what are your affirmations? What are your beliefs about yourself? Um, and really learning how to get rid of certain things that are holding you back emotionally, certain things that are really causing you grief. Um, you have the ten of bats for what is happening right now. So you're 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 carrying a a heavy load. Maybe you have a lot of work um, at your job. Maybe you have a lot of family responsibilities. Maybe you have. Um, students that you're teaching at school and it's taking a lot of your time and energy outside of this of the classroom um maybe you are you know um somebody who comes from a big family and you're possibly the eldest of the family and it's really your responsibility to kind of mother or nurture or father the younger kids in the family. Um, it could be anything that really makes you feel like you have a lot on your plate. And the three of bats is how you move this, through this with grace and ease. So not pushing your sadness, not, not sh shoving it under the couch or sweeping it under the rug, but really facing head on how you're feeling, facing whatever is making you unhappy and really learning how to work with that shadow side so that you can come out stronger on the other end, Capricorn. Now, this card came out face up, and it is what are you learning from this cycle of your life? So the five of pumpkins is the five of pentacles. And Capricorn, this, this seems like a heavy reading so far, but let's remember that you have release your power as your oracle card. So there is a silver lining around this card this cloud the five of pumpkins is what are you learning from this cycle of your life and the five of pentacles can be a card of really feeling left out in the cold you know um feeling like maybe you don't have a very big support system but learning how to see where your hope comes from learning how to find the resources that you need to work through any physical difficulties that you might be having. Maybe speaking to your bank about getting uh, a line of credit, or maybe speaking to your bank about consolidating your debts, or maybe um, speaking to your boss about doing le less time at work, because you do have the 10 of bats. Whatever you can put down to focus on yourself more is really of utmost importance with the five of pumpkins. And uh, what are you learning in this cycle of your life? So you're learning how to ask for help and you're learning how to go in a direction that's more supportive for you. Capricorn, what is currently leaving your life in the month of October? We have the king of imps. And with this king of imps for what is leaving your life, I'm focusing on more of the shadow side of the king of imps, which is the king of wands. And it's an ego. It's an ego trip. It's overly self-righteousness. It's a sense of feeling like your your shit don't stink so what is currently leaving your life is a rotten attitude an attitude where you feel like you're better than others and it's not to say that you had that attitude it's just to say that you're learning how to really abide in a sense of humility the king of imps can be very humble he has a lot of power of course he's the king and of course he has a lot of charisma and he has a spark because the king of imps is the king of wands so there's a spark there's an enthusiasm but there's also a sense of i i have to honor the position i'm in and i have to act with integrity so what's currently leaving your life is anything that is ego driven anything that is making you feel like you could be better than anyone else and of course you have a few difficult cards here for october capricorn so it d does make sense that what's leaving you is any kind of um feeling of better than thou attitude not that you had that attitude but it's for sure not going to happen with the king of imps for what's leaving you now what is on its way in for you is the ace of imps so don't um don't get me wrong when i say the king of imps represents what's leaving you with the ego because the ace of imps is what is currently on its way in for you in the month of october and the ace of imps is of course the ace of wands just like the king of imps is the king of wands and for what's coming in for you the ace of imps is a spark a spark of life vitality um 
something that you can run with, something that you can, when I say run with, I mean something that you can take and really create something big with. Some Maybe an opportunity is coming in for you in the month of October that will really um, set your life in another direction, in a direction that's going to be easier for you, in a direction that's going to be more successful for you. Um, this is currently what is on its way in with the Ace of Imps. And the Ace of Imps is like the divine handing you a torch and saying, here, go into the darkness and light up the darkness. Maybe you're going to be somebody who is forging the way for something new, forging a new path so that people can follow you. Maybe you are in some sort of medical field where you're learning how to maybe work on a new vaccine or work on a new medication that will help people or finding the cure to something like, God forbid, but you know, God forbid that anybody should get cancer, but maybe finding, uh, working on a project where you're trying to find a cure for cancer. And maybe that's a little bit too far fetched for some of you, but you know, it could be anything where you're forging the way down into unknown territory because the ace of imps my, my friend wendy says the ace of imps is kind of like a match because it's the ace of wands it's like a match and it's up to you to go and light the light up something on fire like the match will only last a certain amount of time and it's up to you to really know what direction you want to go with and run with it and set the world ablaze, really set the world ablaze with what you can create, with what you are bringing to this world. And of course, the Ace of Imps also, to me, symbolizes vitality and good health because you have a lot of um, joie de vivre, you have a lot of joy for life, you have a lot of um, charisma. Of course, with the King of Imps, there's also charisma. So it's very good for what's coming in for you in the month of October, Capricorn. And what is your medicine for the moment? We have the nine of imps for your medicine for the moment. So your medicine for the moment is learning how to trust, learning how to trust, but also learning how to keep your boundaries up against people who might want, um, might not want the best for you. The nine of imps is the nine of wands and it speaks about somebody who's been hurt before. And of course we have the three of bats for how you're moving through this month, but it speaks about somebody who's been hurt, but somebody who is using what he or she has within his or herself to really put up a shield against people who would want to come against you or, or want they, who don't want the best for you. So it really allowing people in to your life who really want the best for you in the month of October. This is your medicine for the moment, the nine of imps, really taking care of yourself and really with the ace of imps for what is on its way in and the nine of imps for your medicine, it goes from the ace, which is the one to the nine, which is, you know, almost at 10. So it's like, you're you're really learning to use that match uh, to the best of your ability you're re you're really learning to take that spark and light up whatever area of your life needs to be lit so that you can better see where you're going and better understand what you want to do in this world so we have release your power for your oracle card card number 33 capricorn let's read what this card means for you okay Card number 33, Dress of Alchemy. Capricorn. Dress of Alchemy. The message is release your power. About the Dress of Alchemy. You have powerful energy when this beautiful being shows up in your readings. You have strong, powerful, vibrant energy that changes lives. What did I say? The Ace of Imps. And with that comes great responsibility, which is the Nine of Imps. Some people may be eroding their own energy fields with blame, discontent, and choosing the same destructive patterns over and over again. When this being walks in, she shows that it is possible to change deeply and truly and to become clear, bright, strong, healthy and very powerful in terms of your energy. She understands the responsibility and has worked consistently and with great discipline and earnestness to be able to create. 
the, the eyes in her wings make it impossible to hide from the truth of who you are. She speaks. It is time for you to celebrate who you truly are at this time. To acknowledge you have some energetic debris that needs to be cleared, which is the three of bats. Energetic debris that needs to be cleared. And when you do this, the gold of who you truly are will shine through. Just as these alchemical symbols shine from my dress, it is no longer possible in this new energy to, to hide who you are. You must take the time to truly be yourself. There is no cloak to hide within, as you can see. This dress I wear reveals all my magical magics and all my secrets. The secrets and the wisdoms of the ages are being revealed now more than ever before. When you have cleared your energy field of the guilt, the fear, the jealousy, and the envy, you will be able to shine brightly too. So here is the divination message for you, Capricorn, with this card, Dress of Alchemy. Release your power. Please take time to clear from your own sacred energy field, jealousy, envy, fear, and guilt. Once you are clear, welcome in bright, strong, powerful, healthy energy. After this has taken place, expect symbols and signs to pour in. I feel like that's the ace of imps. Keep your energy strong and bright and follow the signs. When your energy is strong and bright, when you come from a place of love, courage and wisdom, which is the nine of imps, you will attract the right signs and will not be misled. Do not expect to have no change after her arrival. Relationships and situations based on ego-centered concepts contain toxic energies. What I was saying, the king of imps, getting rid of ego. So contain toxic energies will fall away naturally and you will now ask for your worth. This is not hubri, which is overweening pride. It is self-love in action. So I really feel like even though it looks like this is a difficult month for you, I feel like ultimately you will shine and you will release your power and you will really understand yourself better this month, Capricorn. So I hope this was a helpful reading for you for the month of October 2021, Capricorn. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Again, my name is Mo Moon and I will see you in my next video. Bye Capricorn.